So we are going to study. See, in last class, we have studied uh, what is this life process and uh, what are this all the life process and what is the characteristics of all the living things. That is all we have studied. So we have totally seven characteristics which are uh, followed by the living things, which is not followed by the non-living things. So how we can uh, classify the living things? Like a common characteristic or a common features which makes them different from non-living things. We have studied, studied the seven things like uh, they, the things we, they can move by themselves. Things need food, air and water. Living things can grow. Living things can respond to the changes which will take place around them. Means in the sense of the sensitive nature. Like that, living things can respire. Means in the sense of they will release energy from food. As well as living things can excrete Means in the sense of water, what is the meaning of excrete? It's so a get rid of? Get rid of waste material. Get rid of waste material. Yes. Like that, living things can reproduce. So these are the uh, carbon features or characteristics which will, understanding, separate the living organism, which will make them different from non-living things. Later I have taught you what are the life process. What are the life process? What are the life process? So life process is the what? They are the basic functions performed by living organisms to maintain their life on this earth. To maintain their life on this earth is only called a life process. Life process. So we have a different kind of life process like starts with a nutrition and the respiration. Next one, transport and excretion. Next one, control and coordination. Why people are not speaking? You are not remembering. Control and coordination. Next one, growth. And the last one growth. is movement. And movement. And movement. Movement and, and, reproduction. and reproduction. Reproduction. Movement and reproduction. 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 Yeah, I know that so many is not remember. I don't know what happened. But from today, you have to write everything. Understand? So I have taught you what is nutrition, what is respiration, uh, what is control and coordination, what is growth, reproduction and all. So well, let us come to here. We'll study it out. Why energy is needed? Understanding? For this life process. Understand? If without this energy, what will happen? That is all we'll study. So, please all of you keep adding. Energy is needed for the life process. Why this energy? Energy is needed. life processes so let us comes to here you know that all the living organisms they need energy to perform various life process is it yes or no if you are not eating if you are not eating what will happen Ra? you won't get the energy then you are not doing any kind of uh, any kind of life process means in the sense of you will be alive or not you will be turning into non-living thing you'll be living thing or not living Yes or no? So if you want to perform, if you want to perform any kind of life process, any kind of living organism, they need energy. So how we can get this energy? Any idea? Anybody? How we can get this energy? Food, sir. Food, sir. Food, sir. That is why. So from the food only, all these living organisms, understand, from the food, is only all the living organisms will get the required energy to do the all the for to perform the a various kind of life process so that if you'll see for your bike your your, your your father having bike or car they are having a fuel called as like petrol or diesel so that is their food without that they cannot uh, do their uh, process like that so they, that is why we can call so petrol is a fuel for the car or motor vehicles or automobiles. Like that food is a what? Food is a what? Food is a fuel for what? Food is a kind of fuel. Yes. A food is a kind of fuel which provides energy to all the... Is it only for humans or else it is for all, all the living things? 
उट various life process remember always whatever the energy we are getting from the food is a chemical energy what is that energy chemical energy so how we can get this chemical energy anywhere in the chemistry you can see how we can get that is why digestion is a understanding respiration is what releasing energy is a what chemical reaction is it sir no endothermic yes, chemical reaction that is the reason so whatever the life process if you want to perform we need a chemical energy so how we can get this chemical energy how we can get this chemical energy by digestion by, by chemical reactions of what by the chemical reactions food. of food food that is because it is a fuel so they will get this chemical energy from food through chemical reactions understand so that is why actually all the living organisms continuously need energy for their various life process and their activities which they perform even when we are sleep also our body is required energy is it yes or no will you accept that option is yes, 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 except yes, yes sir not feeling well except jessy i think is more there you know if, if your friends are there you please make a call and tell them to join everybody good morning those who join now right it so now you feel observe yeah even though when you are sleep when you are uh, not doing any work also some biological systems is going on continuously in our body so that is why is it our body's required energy is only particular situation or, or else it is continuously from your birth to from your death is it yes or no Continuous. 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 Yes. For example, let us take. If we we'll take, energy is required by an organism even during sleep also. When you are sleeping also, understand? A biological process is continuing in our body because when we are sleep, what is happening? The number of biological process keep on occurring in the body, which required energy. For example, our heartbeats. Our heartbeat is what? Is it is stoppable or non-stoppable? Non-stoppable, sir. Non-stoppable. Our heartbeats non-stop even when we are asleep to pump blood throughout the body. So that that beating is required energy or not? Always lub dub lub dub lub dub. Is it required energy yes, or not? Sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, to pump this blood. throughout if when you are sleep when you are eating when you are working when you are driving when you are reading it doesn't matter our heart beat always need to pump the blood throughout the body understand if not yes, it will leads to the non living thing is it yes or no yes, yes sir that is the reason this heart beating understand the beating of heart requires energy always so we can say the working of heart requires a continuous supply of energy not only that so many other process respiration you take respiration is also a process which will take place continuously is it yes or no yes sir sir yes so that is the reason the energy required by an organisms comes from the food understanding that 
what organisms are eats understand so whatever you will eat you will eat a pizza burger you will eat a something something non veg or veg or something whatever you will eat that is all called as what food so this food is only from this food is only we are getting the required energy to do this all the biological process of our body like all the living organisms also they will consume the different kind of food from that food only they is to get this energy so food is the basic requirement understand me so that is why you can say in our uh, uh, dialogue movie dialogues also will say what is the three things required for us first if you want to sustain in this nature we want three things in that also first we will say food only food bed dress they will say is it yes or no shelter food shelter and uh, sorry food dress and shelter they will say is it yes or no these are the basic things required for uh, every human yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir so if all the people are providing a good food a good uh, uh, cloth and good shelter then we can say that everybody is uh, non there is no poor fellow if they are getting the minimum things these three things are required that is so that is the reason why we can say food is the basic requirement for us understand basic requirement without this we cannot understand basic requirement of all the living organisms for obtaining energy so without this food we people cannot get energy understand so this is all about the introduction but let us see sir what we are going to study in this chapter means in this chapter we will study the process of intake the process of intake what is the meaning of intake ra the process of intake eating in this chapter we will first study this is only the process of intake next one utilization of the food by an organism utilization of food by the organism i think by this time your madam taught what is the meaning of utilization of the food anybody utilization ah uh, how using of food utilization of food by organism what we used to call this how it is absorption we have some name for this can you able to say anybody utilization of food by an organism by an organism is only called as don't know nutrition don't know ra nutrition don't okay let it be so intake of food next one utilization of food by organisms called as nutrition so after nutrition what will happen from this liberation of energy will takes place so liberation of energy what is that name called as even chemistry it will come liberation of energy liberation means what production production of energy the process is called as what liberation of energy respiration respiration, respiration. you cannot do, you don't know. yeah so liberation of energy from the food understanding from the food so that process is called as what what we should call respiration 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 we are going to respiration study. first we will start sir, then for what is that for digestion sir that is digestion is only respiration am just breaking of food is called as digestion from that simpler substances chemical reaction will takes place that process is only called as respiration understand respiration. now after yes. respiration who will be there ra energy is released then what will happen you people will store it or you people will supply transportation transportation sir. that is you have to be communicated you people know that so after that we will study the process of this moving the digested food and the other materials to the various parts of the body that is only we used to called as what transportation transportation transport so and after transport we will remove the waste materials from the body excretion 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 so this is the starting process intake is the starting process and last process is what excretion so here one question you should come what is the 
process of this life process of intaking food and uh, excretion they will ask uh, like it will come like this what is the first step intake nutrition yes. nutrition next one nutrition next one respiration 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 carried transport. by transport 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 carried by excretion excretion all of you write this one and later so we will start with now the first one called as what is the first one intake let it be you will take now after intake what is what will be there nutrition there nutrition. nutrition so all of you write this all of you write this and keep nutrition and from there we will continue today start doing now you understand ra what is the process life process yes sir so this is all yes, called life process only is it yes or no in taking food nutrition respiration transport excretion this is only called as what life process yes or life no process. everything life is a life process. processes that is what you should remember Shall we start? Can you again tell me, Ra? Any doubt? Can you again? No, sir. Yeah. Still, one or two is absent. Now I don't know who is that. It's okay. Except JC, nobody should get absent. I don't know why you people are again absent. JC is not feeling well. Okay. बॉयस आल आर प्रेजेंट दिलीप एंड चेक वंस ओके सो लेट अस कम्स टू हियर सो व्हाट इज आवर व्हाट इज आवर फर्स्ट प्रोसेस रा न्यूट्रिशन न्यूट्रिशन लाइफ विल स्टार्ट अंडरस्टैंड वेरी केयरफुल अंडरस्टैंड इट वो फाइंड हु इज एब्सेंट एंड टेल मी द नेम जस्ट आई वांट टू स्पीक विद देम बॉयस आल आर आर प्रेजेंट चेक व्हाट रा बॉयस आल आर प्रेजेंट गर्ल्स कैन वेरीफाई समबडी ओके Now, oh, except Jesse. So now all of you keep reading nutrition. So what is the meaning of nutrition, Ra? Just like somebody will ask you, what is the nutrition? Just now I have told you. Utilization of food by an organ. That organ. Nutrition. So let us comes to here, as we know that if we we'll take food, so this intake of food, we will take the consuming of food is only called as intake of food. So now if we we'll take this food is a organic substance what is this this food is an organic substance understand organic substance you will study in chemistry what is organic and inorganic substance remember that so if we we'll take organic substance every food whatever we are consuming everything is called an organic substance so the simplest food if we we'll take what is the simplest form of food means which will consume if you want to get instant instant energy we used to take that what is that can you able to say carbo wow no, i used to know while you are running your mother glucose glucose glucose, glucose. glucose. So you will take the simplest food out of all the foods the simplest food which will give instant energy and is running is called as glucose glucose what is glucose glucose this glucose is only called as remember another name of this glucose is only called as simple sugar what we should call simple sugar understand so this is the simplest food a food is also called as uh, every food is organic substance the simplest food is glucose also we used to called as simple sugar like that if it comes to complex food if it take means difficult to digest complex food if it take then the complex food is known as starch what we should call starch like a powder only it is called as starch understand so this starch is made up of made from glucose it is made from glucose you people understanding what i am saying the starch yes, is sir. made from glucose so that is why then general name of substances 
like glucose sugar understanding sugar starch everything is known as carbohydrates what we should call carbohydrates hydrates understanding carbohydrates so carbohydrates means what which is the general name of a glucose a starch glucose and starch so understanding sugars all the sugars like glucose starch are called as carbohydrates carbohydrates you may heard that whatever you eat most of the food items if you eat uh, lays if you eat any kind of thing in any, any snacks if you turn back side observe today if you buy any kind of 5 rupees lays or one chocolate or anything back side if you observe they used to keep nutrition value have you noticed it yes sir nutrition value they will give yes, so the nutrition value highest first thing will be definitely carbohydrates is it yes, carbohydrates Is it yes, a sir, energy they would say, sir, energy. So that is the reason. Then fat. Carbohydrates are the most common food. Most common food for getting what? For getting energy. 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 That is the reason why every food contains carbohydrates. They are the simpler, easily can give energy. That is the reason carbohydrates are the most common food for getting energy. See for biology, I will give separate notes later. Whenever I am saying something, you can note it down. Now see important points you can see: glucose and sucrose. Uh, sorry, glucose and starch is only called as carbohydrates. So these are the common food. Common food for getting. Sir, sir, yeah. one minute, sir. What are you saying now? Just we can have a rough, yeah, rough diagram of food now, sir. Have a rough. Understanding that is. You will send printed notes, sir. Yeah. Whenever I am saying it, you note it down. This from there you can note it down. Same thing. Understand. Okay. Sir. So now you will okay. take. So these carbohydrates are the understanding a common food for getting energy. Like if you will take next one, fats. If you will observe nutrition value. If you have any kurkure packet or something in your home, you can check it. Carbohydrates after fats will be there. So fats after proteins will be there. Have you noticed it? Unmute yes, yourself. Yes, sir. So creating yes, sir. noise. You unmute. So these fats and proteins also foods only. Understand? So they are also called as foods only. So the wider definition of food, however, also includes minerals, mineral salts, vitamins, water, which are essential for the normal growth and the development of an organism. If we'll take basic food, the most common foods are carbohydrates for getting energy. Also, we can call fats and proteins. Also, are called as foods only. But if we'll take a a good food, which is a understanding essential, what is the definition of food? A wider definition of food includes carbohydrates, fats, proteins. Understanding also includes mineral salts, vitamins, water, which are essential for the normal growth of our body and also development of an organism. That is the meaning of food. So, the process of this taking food consuming consuming we can call this consuming food and utilizing it is only called as what we should call ra consuming and utilization is only called as what nutrition nutrition remember the process of intaking intaking means also we can called as what consuming eating intaking also yes, called as not eating ra consuming understand So consuming Consume. and utilization, utilization is only called as utilization. Nutrition. Only called as what we should call nutrition. 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 So that is only our concept. So intake of food and utilization of that food is only called as nutrition. So here, if you observe, it is a process. This nutrition is a process. Understand me? In which food is obtained in order to utilize it to provide why we are taking our food raw why we are taking food why because food will so provide, energy. provide energy for performing various metabolic yes. metabolic activities Activity. understand of the organism metabolic activities of the organism that is why are taking food and utilizing that food understand because to performing 
various metabolic activities of the organism so actually if you look here what is the meaning of nutrition the term meaning of nutrition is comes from the word called as nutrient this nutrition is the word which we, which has been come from nutrient understand so this is the actual term from this only this nutrition term has been derived so that is why if we'll take here what is the meaning of nutrient because nutrition means we you know that what is the meaning of nutrition consuming food utilizing utilizing energy for performing various metabolic activities is only called as nutrient so now if it comes to here nutrient nutrient remember nutrient is an organic or inorganic substance doesn't matter nutrient is a both organic or or inorganic or organic or inorganic doesn't matter nutrient is an organic or inorganic substance required for the understanding required for the maintenance of life and survival of an living organism that is why it is called as nutrient a nutrient is a some substance it may be organic or inorganic doesn't matter but what is the use what is the use of this nutrient what is the use of maintaining to maintenance of life and survival life. this is the two things understanding maintenance maintenance of life and survival as well as maintenance of life as well as next one is what survival survival, survival. life survival of living organism living organism is only called as nutrient so that process is called as what nutrition understanding that complete process is called as nutrition nutrition so in most of the simple terms we can say nutrition is just a, a particular type of food a particular type of food means in the sense of it may be organic food or may be a inorganic inorganic so just we can say casual meaning of nutrient is just a food that's all it is just a one type of food just a one type of food that's all particular type of food is known as called as nutrient that's all understanding am all of you yes or no yes, sir. no yes sir you people should note down the definition of nutrient so please all of you first note down the definition of nutrient later i will explain the definition you know the definition of nutrients basic nut uh, definition that is what just it is a substance which is useful to maintain the life or survival of living organisms that's all but we will make a biological definition of this nutrient please all of you write it nutrient are you understanding nutrient yes sir girls who is yes, absent except jessy any uh, uh, anybody is there pranay is there pranay is present pranav is present dena is present everybody is present somebody is missing i don't know why is all present sir prakash prakash is there i have seen her prakash is there okay then let it be so write it all of you nutrient nutri nutrient what is the meaning of nutrient this is absent i know pranita except jc one more fellow is missing two more fellows is arshini binsi sir arshini binsi is not there why were she humaira yes sir humaira is not there uh, please somebody you can call humaira humaira may be join okay now write nutrition nutrient can be defined as a nutrient can be defined as a nutrient can be defined as a substance 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 which an organism obtain which an organism obtain nutrient is a, nutrient can be defined as a substance which an organism obtain which an organism an organism obtain from its surroundings 
from its surroundings from its surroundings and uses it as a uses it as a uses it as a source of energy source of energy source of energy source of energy r r biosynthesis of its body constituents biosynthesis biosynthesis of its body constituents that is only called as nutrient ra surroundings and uses it as a source of energy source of energy r for the biosynthesis biosynthesis of its body constituents can you able to say what is the meaning of this biosynthesis of body constituents anybody any idea your teacher may taught by this term just if you remember you can say what is the meaning of this biosynthesis you may heard that a word called as our body is made up of tissues and organs is it sr no production of complex yeah. production yes. of or not biosynthesis meaning of like a body constituents our body is made up of a few things what is that can you able to say our body is made up of first organs is it sr no our body is a yes, mixture understanding our body is contains so many types of organs as well as and also it contains what our flesh and everything is contains what tissue is it correct or not everything is made up of yes, tissue yes sir no yes, sir. that is so reforming of suppose your skin will cut few times you can see our skin will remove is it again reforming or it is a uh, that's all is it uh, reforming 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 Our body few parts will grow re again understand reform again that is only called as biosynthesis understand biosynthesis of body organs biosynthesis of its body constituents like tissues like tissues and organs tissues and organs bracket you can write for the biosynthesis of its body constituents body constituents like tissues and organs you understand ra bracket you should know that yes or no that is only called as nutrition all of you once if you are not speaking you please kindly unmute anusri so nice disturbance from you only some disturbance if you are speaking you can uh, mute uh, again you can unmute that's all this is only called as what nutrient all of you read again once again you read the definition what is nutrient nutrient is a nutrient can be defined that is not don't see that is uh, you have to write in exam here yeah. basically you say yeah, what is a nutrient nutrient is a substance which understanding we used to get from our surroundings and which will be useful as a source of energy that's all which will be utilized as a source of energy which will gives energy to our body that's all is called as nutrient which will maintain of life or survival of living organisms is only called as nutrient so what is the example example of this nu nutrient for example if we we'll take understand so examples of nu nutrients if we we'll take carbohydrates and fats are the nutrients which are used by an organism mainly as a source of energy remember only we will use a main mainly two things for the source of energy one is carbohydrates so then what about others we have others also that you say you just uh, main thing main thing understanding we will use energy for what carbohydrates we have different kind of foods this now i have told you we have what is the types of food we have ra before i have told you what is the full form of food a wider definition of food What is the wider definition of food? Anybody? What is the wider definition of food? Carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, mineral salts, water, which are essential for growth of our body. Is it yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. So that is why. So in that we will see the growth and development of organisms. We need vitamins, water, mineral salt, understand everything. So that is why in that you observe. majorly two things will be useful to main source of energy that, that is what you should note it down here so for releasing energy for releasing energy in our body the major source of energy are carbohydrates as well as 
So these are the two substances which we will use to produce the understanding. Major, mainly as a source of energy, is carbohydrates and fats are the nutrients. Are the nutrients. 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 If it comes to the remaining things like proteins, mineral salts are the nutrients used by an organisms for the biosynthesis of body constraints. So what kind of biosynthesis? Can you able to say? Like in the sense of body constraints. Skin, blood, understanding, etc. etc. Growing again. Has been growth oh. biosynthesis by Humra. Who will be helpful to biosynthesis? Proteins. And Protein. Proteins and what? Next one. Mineral salts. Mineral salts. And salts. Yeah. Something on camera, sir. What? Yes, sir. Black color. Black color. Now you Something can see. You. Oh, I fly. Camera, oh, fly, fly. Fly as uh, sat on the camera. <laughs> now you can see? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. This fly exactly sat on the camera. I don't know. <laughs> I have not noticed. Okay. So that is. So for uh, biosynthesis of skin, blood, etc., like uh, body parts, we, uh, the things which will be, the nutrients like proteins and mineral salts will be utilized. And for releasing energy, carbohydrates and fats will be utilizing. That is why you say, write it. That is why nutrient has two definitions. What is the nutrients has two definition. One is what? For releasing food, uh, sorry, for releasing energy as well as biosynthesis of body organs. So in that, for releasing energy, these two things, for biosynthesis of body parts, these two things, proteins and mineral salts. So then what about uh, vitamins, water and all? They are the essential for body growth, understanding. Body growth as well as development of organism, everything they require. That's all. So these two things you noted down, all of you. So this is about the nutrient. Is it yes or no? Then yes, we are studying nutrient. So yes, from the nutrient only we used to get one word called as. What is that word? What nutrient. is the word? Nutri. Some word came from nutrient. What nutrient, is sir. Ah? Nutrient. 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 Is it your umbrella?